Welcome to this Marian guided meditation in honor of mothers. This guided prayer provides an opportunity for us to reflect upon the faith of Mary, the mother of Christ, and to be grateful for the variety of mothers in our lives. Find a comfortable seat. Relax your gaze towards the floor or close your eyes. Inhale deeply and become aware of your body. Exhale completely and let go of any negative sensations or tension you may be holding. Arrive here. Welcome the Holy Spirit into this space to guide you through this meditation. Lift your right hand to slowly touch your forehead, the center of your chest, your left shoulder, and your right shoulder in this sign of our Catholic identity. Keep your hands in front of you in prayer position or place them comfortably on your lap. As you continue to take deep breaths, turn your thoughts towards Mary, the mother of Christ, our spiritual mother. Just a teenager when the angel Gabriel appeared to her with word that she would bear the Son of God, awestruck, a bit confused, and courageous, Mary accepted the invitation. Like so many mothers, Mary said yes to this new life entering into the world. She gave her entire self, spiritual, emotional, mental, physical, to bring the Christ child to us. Through her pregnancy, she spent days sick and in pain. She nourished the child from her own body. She gave birth to the Lord of all in a cave surrounded by animals and her devoted and protective husband, Joseph. Mary remained steadfast in her trust in God, despite death threats and unknowns. Jesus grew and became strong, and Mary experienced the sacrifices of motherhood and the adventures of raising a child, for even Jesus had his challenging moments. Like any good mother, Mary nudged Jesus to perform his first miracle at the wedding of Cana, even when Christ himself was hesitant to turn water into wine. Mary supported Jesus in becoming the Son of God he was called to be. After three years of ministering to the broken, the hurting, and the outcasts, Jesus was sentenced to death for crimes he did not commit. All but one of his disciples fled in fear, but Mary remained. She walked with her son's tortured and bloodied body to Calvary. She watched as the hands and feet that she once held and kissed when he was an infant were brutally nailed into a piece of wood, and he was hung from the cross. Mary was there as Jesus drifted towards death and as he took his last breath. Once he was taken down from the cross, she cradled his broken body in her arms. Mary offered up the son she had raised to the God who had given him as a gift to the world. She experienced the greatest loss of her life, but she believed God would create something wonderful out of something horrific. She surrendered to her hope in God and God's plan. Three days later, her son rose from the dead. She was there with the disciples to experience his joyous return and to spread the good news to all who would listen. Her son had liberated us from our sins, defeated death, and gave all of us the chance to love fully and to be with God in heaven. Mary was the first and most committed disciple, a mother who fully believed in her child. Now, take a quiet moment of gratitude for Mary, our spiritual mother, for her courage and her deep faith.
Think of your own mother. Think of her bravery and the sacrifices she had to make for you to have life. Take a quiet moment of gratitude for her as well. Finally, take a quiet moment of gratitude for all of the strong women who have influenced your life and for the ways that they have mothered you. Slowly bring your awareness back to the space that you're in. And together we close. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.